It's the unofficial start to the summer season from walking the boards of Ocean City to soaking up the sun on the beach. It's another kickoff to the Memorial Day weekend. It's been a long time coming, or at least it feels that way. Friday night, Rick is off. I'm Shari Williams. The big story on Action News tonight is the start of it all as people across the Delaware Valley ramp up for the long awaited summer season. Sky six right now giving us this live look that's happening along the Ocean City boardwalks. And yes, people are out there strolling along, taking in the nice temperatures on the eve of what will be a memorable weekend. We have team coverage tonight. We'll get more on the forecast in just a moment, but we begin with Action News reporter Leland Pender live from Ocean City. Yeah, hey, good evening, Shari. You couldn't have asked for better weather today for the unofficial start of summer here along the shore. Folks all across the shore enjoying the day today, including right here on the boardwalk in Ocean City. It's great down here, always a fun time, you know. It's the unofficial start of summer on the Jersey Shore. Rain cleared out earlier in the day and great weather drew out the crowds. The, cr the crowds are coming, the parkway's packed, the inner city's packed, there's no parking around here. It's all positive, we love it. In Ocean City, city officials symbolically unlocked the ocean and then people marched into the chilly water to mark the beginning of summer, many of them local businesses. I love it. This is uh, just a great event to welcome back our seasonal visitors. Seattle City visitors all had different reasons for heading down the shore for the long holiday weekend. This is our like tradition of getting back together with high school friends so and we getting do this together. Every Memorial Day weekend, we really look forward <laughs> to it. And we're celebrating eighth grade graduation and my son's birthday. Everyone is planning on having a good time. I was excited all week. I'm gonna do a lot of beach. Tanning on the beach. We do the beach every day. We're going on a boat tomorrow. In Stone Harbor. Where several people said stopping by Springer's ice cream is a must. I love getting ice cream from Springer's and it's really good. It's the best ice cream shop here. It's like homemade ice cream. It's just really good. Nice cool nights, patio and outdoor dining, and more people on foot than in a car. Visitors say they've been waiting for this. As soon as we drive in the salt air, you just relax. You should feel like summer's here, yeah. you know, which is great. It's just a different vibe and a different energy. And as we go into summer, you want to keep in mind that different shore towns do have curfews in place for teens. So look, uh, look that information up for the town where you might be planning to visit here in Ocean City. It's between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Live in Ocean City, Leland Pender, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. All right, Leland, people, of course, excited about the weekend ahead. Well, many people, though, were stuck in traffic today as they made the annual Memorial Day exodus to the shore. AAA expects 465,000 people in our area alone to hit the road for the holiday weekend. That's up 4% from last year. If you are leaving tomorrow, experts say you should hit the road before 1 p.m. or after 6 p.m. And on Monday, you should wait it out until after 7 p.m. if you can. Let's bring in meteorologist Cecily Tynan now. Of course, everyone wanting to know just how great the weather will yeah. be this weekend. Cecily, of course, you've got the details. And, and Shari, certainly a beautiful start to the holiday weekend. It felt like summer today. Philadelphia made it up to 88 degrees. That's 11 degrees above average. And of course, we had all that sunshine. And the next two days will be on the warm side, not just here, but across the mid-Atlantic in through the northeast. Temperatures running about 5 to 15 degrees above average. And for the next two days will be dry for the most part. Satellite and radar showing we have clear skies, high pressure in control of our weather. And if you look out to the west, you can see some of that activity. It's going to have a tough time getting here. An isolated shower could sneak in Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, but most of Saturday and Sunday will be rain free. So enjoy it tomorrow. Partly sunny highs in the mid 80s, but low humidity again on Sunday about the same with the temperatures, but we add the humidity with a threat of a spotty afternoon thunder shower. And actually the weather on Monday may help with the traffic jams because it looks like it is going to be rainy. So a lot of people may be taking off a little bit earlier, very humid and unsettled. We have some scattered showers in the morning evolving into thunderstorms in the afternoon. I'll show you future tracker with the advancement of the wet weather and also run down the shore forecast coming up in the 70 forecast. Shari. All right, Cecily, we'll be listening and be sure to download the 6 ABC app for the holiday weekend. We'll keep you updated on the chance for rain and the travel rush along with information on what businesses will be open or closed for the holiday.